shall judge among the heathen, he shall fill the places with the dead bodies. That's right, he's gonna judge among the heathen. So that proves he's gonna, he gonna execute judgment on these nations, man. All right, them that afflicted the children of Israel, they're gonna be destroyed. I tell you that, and get that, and uh, hold that, get Zechariah. Start at two and six and read it down. All right, the Lord told you not to touch that, uh, the children of Israel, because they are the apple of his eye. Okay, so he's gonna touch you like you touched them. All right. Zechariah chapter 2, verse 6. Yeah. And the seed, and the verse 6. Zechariah 2. That's definitely Zechariah is towards the uh, end of the Old Testament. Towards the end. Zechariah chapter 2, verse 6. Ho, ho, come forth. And flee from the land of the north, said yep. the Lord. Land of the north talking about America, North America, all right? And when it says flee, it doesn't mean actually flee from the country, all right? Because the scriptures just told you the Lord going to be killing people from one end of the earth to the next. He's going to leave dead bodies, okay? What that mean? That means flee out of the ways of America, which is all wickedness and perverseness. Key reader. For I have spread it, for I have spread it you abroad as the four winds of the heaven so the lord talking about the nation of israel negroes latinos and native americans key reader deliver thyself O zion that the will of the daughter of babylon the daughter of babylon is america okay i tell you that in psalms 173 verse 7 through 9. there's no one psalm 70, i mean excuse me psalms 137 verse 7 through 9. all right sorry on that that the daughter of Edom is the daughter of uh, Babylon. Okay, keep reading. For thus said the Lord of hosts, after the glory have he sent thee unto the nations which spoiled you. For he have touched you, touching the apple of, of, of his eye. That's right, he that touched you, touches the apple of his eye. All right, so it, the Lord is gonna be justified in destroying America. All right, because this land is, is basically built off with a the slaughtering, devouring, spoiling, and touching of the children of Israel every day. Ain't just, ain't just. Where's the, oh, sorry. Huh? I just had a question. Are the Ninevites in the white? Ninevites? You have the journalists in the Those were Israelites. Yeah, those people that was, no, no, no. Those people that was in Nineveh during that time when Jonah was on the scene, those were Israelites that was in the Assyrian captivity. All right. They weren't in captivity yet. Yes, they was. Yes, yes, they was. According to what? According to the Bible, get First Kings fifteen twenty nine. Okay, there was two captivities. Yeah. When the Northern Kingdom got taken Assyria, into Assyria. No, no, no. Northern Kingdom was never taken into the Babylonian captivity. Only the uh, yeah, Southern Kingdom of Judah. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. All right. But they was there. All right. First. It was the, the, the tribes that so was you're on. You're telling me the king of Nineveh. We're going to read. The Israelites? No. Because the, he repented. He, the city was still destroyed. Yeah, 100 years later. It wasn't destroyed 100 years later. How long? It was destroyed, if I'm not mistaken, uh, 612 BC when Nebuchadnezzar, the father of Nebuchadnezzar, with the aid of the Medes, the Chaldeans and the Medes took down the Assyrians and they destroyed Nineveh. So that was fulfilled. How many years later? How many years later? After Jonah's preaching. <laughs> I don't know exactly. Uh, you said that it wasn't a hundred. It wasn't a hundred years because they wasn't there in that captivity for a hundred. You read Jonah chapter one? Yes, I read the book of Jonah. What's up with the, uh, the people on the ship? Read this first. We go to Tobit. First, first Kings chapter fifteen verse twenty-nine. Listen. First Kings chapter fifteen verse twenty-nine. Yeah. And it came to pass when he reigned. That he smote all the house of uh, Jezebel. Second Kings uh, 15 and, and 29. All right. I what do you guys say about all the scriptures that talk about Jews and Gentiles being one in Christ and all that stuff? Well, see, I knew he was sitting here. No, I'm just curious to what you believe. No, he, we got to answer one thing at a time. You made a yeah. statement 
all right, about the Ninevites. We're gonna break it down. Because it was two captivities, all right, of the Northern Kingdom before they was all shipped to Assyria. Okay, the first batch, which we're about to read now. Read that. Second Kings chapter 15, verse 29. In the days of Telephonezer. Telephonezer. Pekah. Pekah, king of Israel, came Telephonezer, king of Assyria. Uh huh. And took I. I said. I gone. I gone. And um. A bell beth me uh cuff and ja na uh and Kadash and Hazar and Gilead and Galilee. And, and the land of Nineveh. And the land of Naphtali. And, and carried them in captive to Assyria. Okay. So that was Naphtali. All right. And the same account is in in First Chronicles. Yeah. Get Tobit one. Hold that on. That for me. All right. First Chronicles. Do you guys have like two different Bibles? No, no. Yep. King James 1611. Yep, King James 1611. What about Nebuchadnezzar? We're going to answer your first question. All right. Because <laughs> you like to tap dance. That's Satan. All right? Tap dance? I've never seen you tap dance. Yeah, that's what you're doing. I knew just come up here and just start some shit. I'm not trying to say that. I'm just curious to what you're doing. We're preaching the Bible, man. Alright. I'm sure I got it back. How are you guys know each other? We're gonna stick with the script. We have to see if these are Bible. You wanna run a game to somebody that has that shit. That's right. No, I'm just hanging out with you guys. We don't, don't want to hang out. Yeah. You just want to speak the truth in love. You ain't speaking the truth. This is uh, 1 Chronicles chapter 5, verse 24. It says, And these and these were the heads of the house of their fathers, even, well, no, verse 25, excuse me. 1 Chronicles 5, 25. And they transgressed against the God of their fathers and went a whoring after the gods of the people of the land whom God destroyed before them. And the God of Israel stirred up the spirit of Puel, king of Assyria, and the spirit of Tel, Tel Gophenezer, king of Assyria, and he carried them away, even the Reubenites and the Gadites and the half tribe of Manasseh, with the tribe of Naphtali, which we just read, and brought them unto Halab and Habor and Harah, and to the river of Gosan unto this day. Okay? Which that's all in the Syrian area, okay? Now I'll read that in Tobit. Start at chapter 1, start at verse 2. Uh, Tobit chapter 1, verse 2. Who in the time of... I said... Emenezer. Who in the time of Emenezer, king of Assyria, was led captive of Tazabuk? which is the right hand of the city, who was called properly Nineveh and Galilee about Asar, above Asar. Can you read uh, uh -huh. Galatians 3, 26, Can you read 28? I told her, have walked all the days hold of hold my up, life. Hold up, We done told you, when you ask a question, we breaking sorry, it down. You done asked about 10 questions. The, brother, sorry, the brother asked you, I know, I know. what is your purpose of it? I asked you that a long time ago. Yeah, I'm just talking with you guys. No, you're not just talking. You up here, you come in with, you're trying to challenge it's the us. same scripture. You ain't dealing with the scripture. I'm just asking you what, what it says, what your Bible says. What's wrong with that? Because you come in with an alternative motive. What? You don't want to hear about the scriptures. You I wanna, do. I'm you just wanna... asking you. I want to hear what you say about the scriptures. Read that. Keep reading. Aren't you telling uh, me about the scriptures? Tobit chapter 1 verse. But it's not for you. Okay. I told him that from the jump street. It's not for you. What? Well, the scriptures. Jesus and the Bible or what? The Lord is not for you people, The power man. of the Holy Spirit. What's the Holy Spirit? The Spirit of Christ. What is the Spirit of Christ? The Holy Spirit. What is the Holy Spirit? 
I don't understand what you're asking. I'm asking you what is the Holy Spirit. It's a very simple question.